the few misguided men and women who were burned to death in recent weeks were all victims of incitement. The communists have exploited this for political purposes because they know that they are fast losing the war in Vietnam and are desperate to use any means they can to discredit us, to sow dissension among the allies and delay the communist defeat. Queen Ku Quidi, Vakui Hansa. What you just heard was Madame Nu talking about the monks that put themselves on fire in Saigon. The monks that will make her husband, Nu Din Nu, want to kill Americans. That would lead to the CIA and the Americans launching a coup on South Vietnam to remove Nu Din Dim and Nu Din Nu from power. And this speech happened in Harvard. At the time she was there, at the time she was in America doing speeches about the future of South Vietnam and the crazy parts about the monks burning themselves up, the coup was being launched and her husband would die. Madame Nu's name is Tran Le Xuân. Madame Nu, in many ways, were Nu's spokesperson. Dim, his brother, was the leader of South Vietnam, which he could use to get political power. His wife, was used to get foreign aid and foreign powers to listen. And people listened to her. She became very famous in the West. Like, oh, this beautiful Vietnamese woman coming to talk to us. In actuality, she was just a propaganda tool. But she had undeniable power in South Vietnam. And in many ways, people could blame her for many things. But it's important to remember why she became a big thing in the West. She got the nickname Dragon Lady by the American media because of her vicious tongue and her glamorous image. When the monks put themselves on fire, she said, let them burn and we shall clap our hands. If the Buddhists wish to have another barbecue, I will be glad to supply the gasoline and the match. Everyone was so fascinated by this very odd character. And when she found out that her husband and brother-in-law died, she hid. She just ran away. No one could find her for quite a long period of time. It was shocking. Luckily, her children survived the coup. But Madame Nu, right before the coup, she became the face of Vietnam. Because it was really hard to connect to the Dim brothers, as I stated, Nu used his wife as a propaganda tool, so people could reflect the situation that's happening in South Vietnam onto a person. It would be Madame Nu. What Madame Nu could do was try to build up a better image. Because of the way she speaks, because of the way she looks, she was a conservative hardliner, a tough damsel in distress, and she became a symbol that people could project onto, a symbol of what's wrong with Vietnam, or the symbol that's wrong with American involvement. Instead of the hatred towards the Dim brothers, focus on her. Now, one can ask why did she become such a you know, vicious little witch? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, she didn't have a good life. She did come from a quite well, our family, but she did live through the tougher periods of Vietnam. You know, French Indochina collapsing, Japan occupation, the Second World War, which in France, colonial authorities for some reason. I'm not that well off with uh, Vietnam history, so that's just interesting. The post-war French attempting to reassert control by a bloody nationalist insurgency, which ended with them being occupied and, you know, the partition of the North and the South. To mention how people actually thought of her, many believed her to be the Mary Antoinette of this decade. You know, a female in a collapsing regime, being very arrogant and ignorant of what's going on. The CIA compared him to Borgia, and President Kennedy blamed the entire coup and its outcome on her, saying, that goddamn bitch, she's responsible. That bitch stuck her nose in and boiled up the whole situation down there. But she's actually interesting in many other ways. I, I don't know all too much. I had to do more reading. There's a book called Finding the Dragon Lady. Even though she's conservative, she's the first one to ever be photographed nude in Vietnam. She's the first one to go naked, you know, free, free the nipple movement, the they call it, to be naked in Vietnam. There's photos of her out there somewhere I can't find of her naked. With a bush. <laughs> it's just a bush. Sorry, I had to say that. But that's 
you know, that's a statement. You know, we don't have to be this conservative, you know, show your body, be naked, go on the beach. There's a lot of photos have with very skimpy bikinis, sort of showing off her beauty. But it's a, it's a symbol, it's like, oh, the Vietnamese women should be allowed to show their body off, to have bikinis, to not worry about the more conservative narratives. But that's the interesting part. She's a bit of a libertine, but at the same time, in a very conservative government, she is an enigma. What have the Buddhist leaders done comparatively? The only thing they have done, they have uh, barbecued one of their monks, uh, whom they have intoxicated, whom they have abused the confidence. And even that barbecuing was done um, not even with self-sufficient means, because they, they use uh, imported uh, gasoline.